So yesterday I posted a video of a Karen going wild at a local Mexican restaurant in Altoona, Iowa. Over queso blanco. And how she didn't want to pay for the cheese dip. Psychotic. So after I ended the video, Karen starts, I paid my bill. And Karen starts screaming at the people while I'm trying to pay my bill. And then she storms off. And my cousin notices that Karen left her cell phone at the counter. So Karen, my cousin hands the waiter Karen's phone and is like, I think she forgot this. And then my cousin takes herself and her infant baby outside and screams, Hey, Karen, you forgot your cell phone. And Karen, who has at no point ever objected to being a Karen, because me and my cousin were calling her Karen to her face as we're like on the video, as you can hear us. And Karen comes up to my cousin, expecting my cousin to literally have her phone. And my cousin's like, I left it inside with the waiter. So Karen had to go back inside. So she gets her phone, goes out to her car. We'll get to the car in a second. And she calls the police. So I pay my bill. I tip the wait staff like $20 because they do not deserve to deal with that stuff. And then me and my cousin take our food out to the car where we notice that Karen is on her phone. We are assuming she's calling the police because that's what she screamed as she left the building for the second time. So we decide, you know what, let's go back inside and see what's happening. So we go back inside and we wait. And after we had been outside, I noticed that Karen was driving a company car with the company's phone number on the back. So as we're inside waiting for what we presume would be the cop soon, who by the way arrived in five minutes, I called her company. And I was transferred to her supervisor. And I'm explaining to her supervisor how Karen here decided to, you know, Karen Zoa out on poor Mexican restaurant staffers and die on the hill that is paying four forty nine for queso blanco. And as it turns out, Karen works in in-home health aid, something that I work in. And I mentioned this to Tracy, the supervisor, and Tracy's like, well, we're about to have a job opening if you're interested. So the police get there and they are so annoyed to be there. And you know what they made her do? They made her pay for the queso blanco. So not only did Karen get in trouble with the police who yelled at her. She had to pay for the queso blanco and she got fired. Don't be a Karen. She doesn't even have a mask on. You're gonna bitch at her? You're gonna bitch at him? He doesn't have a mask on. She's gonna bitch at you if it's not on. It's on my face. I legally can do this. Okay. Go for it. Do you want to say anything else before I put you on social media again? Okay. Okay. Have a wonderful day, man. Don't forget to vote for Trump.